if a Democrat runs who resembles uh, Bernie Sanders, who says he's a Democratic Socialist, Donald Trump is going to get reelected. Former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz during a Fox News town hall last night saying Democratic Socialists don't have a shot at winning against President Trump in 2020. My next guest has his own bone to pick with socialism, inviting Democratic Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez to an event tonight celebrating free market success stories. We did reach out to Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez for comment. We have not yet heard back. GOP donor Foster Freeze joins me now. Foster, what was the idea behind this invitation? What was your thought process for this? Well, I think she's such a, a remarkable young woman. She's bright. She's uh, someone who's going to uh, be around for a while. And I think it would be amazing if she could see how so many of uh, Americans came from absolute poverty and humbleness and achieved great success. And I think that's the American dream, which if she saw more of it in action, she would be uh, on a different wavelength in terms of her policies. So I think it's a way we could help her get exposed to uh, people and ideas that she right. hasn't really seen too much. Have you heard back from her? Uh, we, we have not. And uh, if she's listening, uh, we're going to save her a seat. And so if she comes in the last minute, she'll have a place at the table to hear the great presentation tonight. Did, did you tweet the invitation to her? Yeah. Next time you got to tweet it, Foster, you might get a better, you have a much better chance of getting a response. Take my word for it. Okay. Uh, now, you're, you're talking about, uh, you know, what the, these success stories. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that you're a living example of this. You're a living example of what really is the personification of America because you are the, the you're rags the ultra richest kind of guy, aren't you? Well, I uh, truly have been blessed. My wife and I sit on our Cody Ranch deck and we look across the prairie and the mountains and say, I I'm a little bit concerned there could be an accounting error. And so I just, we can't believe how, uh, how God has blessed us and living in America. And we started out with $800 of accumulated leave pay and it it's just stunning. And we're so grateful it gives us the opportunity to encourage those who are on the bottom rung of our economic scale to, to have scholarships. I have a lot of friends who provide scholarships right. to create more plumbers and electricians and so I think that's the way we deal with income inequality by helping those lower income rather than penalizing the ones who have worked hard to succeed. What do you make though of the wave of your fellow billionaires who are coming out and saying they're kind of dissing capitalism. This week we heard from Jamie Dimon uh, who talked about America's flaws and last night Ray Dalio put out another massive missive suggesting that this form of capitalism could actually lead to revolt in this country. Well, I think they're still young. You know, uh, they'll, they'll catch up and see the wisdom of you cannot have the American dream without creating income inequality. It's just axiomatic. You want someone to be flipping burgers in a, a fast food store and say, hey, I can do this. He starts one store, suddenly he has 20, and then suddenly he goes public and he's, he's created income inequality. That's what the American dream is all about. So the challenge is not to tear down those who succeeded, right. but the challenge is to take those on the bottom and those of us who are wealthy to create the opportunities for that ladder up I, that we enjoy from other people. I love what you just said there because very few people would say that you need income inequality. But what about the ladder <laughs> to success, though? I think some folks are saying that's what's broken. I, I don't see that. I, uh, we have uh, tonight 106 young students who have excelled in high school and are getting these uh, $20,000, $25,000 scholarships from Horatio Alger, which have come unbelievable adversity. And now they're president of the class getting straight A's. And if, if you meet these 107 students, there's 106, you're going to be so excited about what America's future is and how these people will be on the ladder up very quickly. I've got 30 seconds left. How do you get this message out to a broader audience, Foster? Well, I think you get to know Charles Payne well and hope he'll <laughs> invite me back <laughs> and we can go in greater depth on it. And I think we have to use the social media to let people know, you know, when people throw out these terms, they got to think about it carefully. Income inequality is what results from the American dream. Yeah. And so the way we deal with it is by helping those on the poor rung. So you are. How, how, you are the personification of it. Good luck with your event tonight, and I hope the, uh, the Congresswoman shows up. 